Some NATO countries are considering sending military instructors to Ukraine. Some North Atlantic Alliance members are openly discussing the prospect of deploying military instructors or contractors to Ukraine to train Ukrainian soldiers and assist with equipment repairs. The New York Times reported this. According to the publication, Ukraine has asked the United States and other allies to help train 150,000 Ukrainian troops closer to the front line to speed up their deployment. The U.S. military sources mentioned in the article said transferring exercises to Ukraine would allow American instructors to quickly gather information about changes taking place on the Ukrainian front, potentially allowing them to adapt their training. However, the United States is being held back from taking this step because an attack on allied trainers in Ukraine could lead to the invocation of NATO's collective defense article, as well as the need for enhanced air defense to protect them. The New York Times quoted an official as saying that one possible location for the exercises is Lviv, but this city has also been routinely targeted by Russian missiles. Other officials cited in the article believe it is possible to train a significant number of Ukrainian recruits in training sites in Germany and Poland, as has been done thus far. However, deploying such a huge number of Ukrainian troops would necessitate extensive logistical operations. As part of these discussions, the New York Times says other NATO allies, including Britain, Germany and France, are working to base defense contractors in Ukraine to help build and repair weapons systems closer to the combat zone. According to current and former U.S. defense officials, the White House is reviewing its ban on U.S. defense contractors entering Ukraine, despite the fact that a small number of contractors have already been cleared to work on specific weapons systems, including the Patriot Air Defense System, with State Department permission. The debate about NATO troops on Ukrainian soil was sparked by French President Emmanuel Macron, who stated in February that he had asked Western nations to send troops to Ukraine. Some countries, particularly the Baltic states, have officially backed or indicated interest in this idea. However, the vast majority, including the alliance's Secretary General, have rejected it. At least four people are dead in Houston after hurricane-force winds and torrential rains tore a damaging path through the city. Part of a lashing storm system that is bringing life-threatening flooding and power outages to parts of the South. Severe storms carved through parts of Texas before pushing into western Louisiana, prompting an overnight flash flood warning for New Orleans. One person was killed in Houston when a crane was toppled by strong winds and two other deaths were caused by fallen trees, according to Houston Fire Chief Samuel Pena, citing preliminary information. The Harris County Sheriff's Office encouraged everyone to stay off the roads as trees blocked streets, with power outages climbing above 800,000 in the Houston metro. Nearby counties also were dealing with outages, sending the state's tally to well over 1 million customers. Houston Mayor John Whitmire said at least four people were killed by the storm and state resources were being requested to help with the recovery. The roof of the Hyatt Regency downtown blew out. Rain and debris pouring down to the lobby, a customer at the hotel told Fox Weather. He said staff was doing the best they could to keep people safe and away from the debris. Windows also appeared to be blown out in other downtown buildings, including around the Wells Fargo Plaza. The broken glass and debris forced city leaders to encourage workers to stay home and avoid the downtown region.